When you have someone like Alec Baldwin uh, given some of the very derogatory things he has said in the past, uh, highlighting a dinner for the Democrat Party in New Hampshire, I, I, I find it disgraceful, frankly. I really do. Um, you know, whether it's in New Hampshire or nationally, I think mainstream Democrats really have to decide, are, are they going to be represented by Hollywood liberal, you know, fringe elitists, uh, or do they want to come and work, work to, with folks, try to get things done, try to actually move the ball forward in, in a constructive way. So, um, you know, that, that plays nicely, I guess, for, uh, for headlines uh, to get that fringe element excited. But um, as the old man here was saying, it's, it, I don't think it really plays with, uh, New Hampshire's a purple state, and I just don't think it plays with the How do you with, compete with, with your opponent, Molly Kelly? Yeah. Well, um, what's the contrast, do you think? Oh, the contrast is night and day. I, I don't worry about competing as much as I just say, look, look at our results. We've gotten tremendous results in New Hampshire in terms of our economy, what we've done for men mental health, what we're doing with the opioid crisis, really being a model for the rest of the country. I just do the job and I let the results speak for themselves. Uh, her record speaks for itself as well, and uh, good luck trying to promote that. What was the old man thing? <laughs> yeah. Look, uh, no, by the way, I would <laughs> never say that without a preface from your son who is sitting next to you in the same room. It's actually the beloved old man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the way it is at home, right? Uh, look, uh, he's done a great job. He, he has cut uh, business taxes. He has brought jobs back. We have unemployment rate l around 2%. Uh, the biggest problem the state has right now is finding enough workers for all the jobs that are there. Uh, he's taken the opioid crisis head on, and, and really, uh, after almost 20 years of Democrats sitting in the corner office in New Hampshire, he's brought it back to what New Hampshire used to be. Well, here's the tweet from the president earlier today. Here it is, guys, on screen, talking about the rallies, et cetera. I'll make a point after this. He says, the crowds at my rallies are far bigger than they've ever been before, including the 2016 election. Never an empty seat in these large venues. Many thousands of people watching screens outside. Enthusiasm and spirit is through the roof. Something big is happening. Watch. Come back to your original point about Republicans holding the House by five seats. You stick with that, right? Because in 2016, we all missed it. But we were watching the rallies. We saw the, the night before the primary in New Hampshire, it was 20 degrees below zero. And he packed the hockey arena in downtown um, uh, in uh, Manchester. The question then becomes this. Are we missing it again? Or, or for those who show at his rallies, is that just the core base that he has always appealed to? I think what is happening is that he is taking full advantage of what happened with Kavanaugh and keeping that message alive for the next three weeks. And that to me is the key. There's a difference in the anger between Republicans and the Democrats. The Democrats are angry to scream. Republicans are angry to go and vote. And I think that's going to be the difference. I actually wanted to ask about that in terms of Kavanaugh. Do you think that, that like, the bump that has you know come in terms of republicans now being rallied to go vote in the midterms will that last i mean how do you make that last for three well, weeks well again i think everyone talks about the energy on the democrat side without realizing that there is real energy on the republican side as well um, at the end of the day as governor i mean I, I i preach all the time you can't let the negativity the circus the dysfunction of washington dc define the results we're getting in, in our state and i think a lot of the governors across the country uh, have that same message governors implement change they really work with people uh... they they manage at a very retail level Level, uh, and that's what really resonates with folks when you can look someone in the eye and, and solve a problem. So at the end of the day, I, Washington is an absolute circus. Uh, there's energy on both sides of this. And, and again, I, I agree. I think that there's going to be a lot of congressional seats, especially in New Hampshire. Eddie Edwards, Steve Negron, great candidates uh, with great service that are going to really surprise a lot of folks, not just in New Hampshire, but across the country. What is your sense about these governor's races when you think about determining the future? Uh, the Republicans have a little bit of a problem in that they're defending so many governors. I think there's 31. Uh, well, we have 30, 33, 33 governors now, I think 26 defending. Yeah. 26 defending. Yeah. So, so whenever you're defending a lot, you have a problem uh, of losing one or two or three. The house four. is the same story. Yeah. But, but the, 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 the difference, I think, is that governors can stand on their own record in their own state and create their own energy and their own enthusiasm. Uh, I have not followed the governor's races across the country as closely as I have the congressional and the Senate races, but I think the Republican governors will do okay. Right now, of the, the 10 most popular governors in the country are all Republicans. Mm -hmm. hmm. In terms of a mistake that could be made moving towards midterms, what, what's the biggest mistake that Democrats could make and Republicans could make? Well, I think the Democrats have made their mistake. You know, they, they, they're, they're leading with anger. 
right? Uh, Republicans lead with, with getting things done. Look at the record of success we've had, whether it's in our states or, and, and remember, that goes all the way down the ballot for state legislatures, Senate race, House, uh, and, and state Senate races, state House, house races. Those really matter because those are the folks that are really con connecting with people. Um, the, I guess the one thing the Republicans could make is, is just lose their focus, right? Try to get pulled if the media were to pull them off their own message. Stay on message, stay on that record of success. That's what Someone people want to Someone said jobs, say. not mobs. Yes, I absolutely. Can't who said absolutely. That, yeah. We got 22 days to go. It's great to see you guys in person. What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> We're enjoying you the York show. Oh, you, you. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Nice Thank to see you, you. Governor. Thank you, Evan. Nice to see you. Thanks very much.